51. It says, Don't resist anyone. That is the word of Jesus. Remember this, a small sentence, but it means a lot. God said, Don't resist anyone. Well, Jesus was about to be arrested and crucified, the temple guards approached him. And Peter said, This is wrong, and struck one of them with his sword. The, bet the betrayal, the false the accusation, the trials, and the crucifixion were all wrong. But just as the other disciples were about to draw, their swords, Jesus said, quit fighting these wrongs. They're a part of my destiny. The disciple couldn't see that these wrongs against Jesus were necessary to get him to the cross. It was the enemy leading him into the wrongs. It was the hand of God leading to a right. Too open, we get stuck in the wrongs and the setbacks, the opposition, you do that, you have struggles. The hurtful things you don't understand, as Peter did, you'll be tempted to fight and get upset. Yes, each and every one of us are just human and it's easy to be tempted and get upset and be angry but remember God said don't resist anyone God is there with you he said I am in control even he is already struggling towards the cross the strong are leading you to do the right thing. Quit fighting everything you don't like. Blow with it. You have to get through the wrongs to become who you were created to be. I know this is very difficult to understand. But as Jesus said, don't resist anyone. That means we have to practice to be more humble. That means we have to, be, to practice to be more patient. We must trust God. The Most High God who is directing our steps towards our destiny. He is in control. And what we don't have to get stuck in trying to understand every wrong along the way. Get out of that. It is a part of our destiny. We must have to get stuck in trying to understand every wrong along the way that we have experienced. We have to believe that He is using it to transport us to our purpose. See, it is very difficult because all the trials, all the difficulties, God is using it to transport us towards our purpose. The wrongs that lead to rights. So don't be frustrated when something, someone do wrong unto you. Because those wrongs that lead you to right. Yes. Simple as that. Don't resist anyone. That means don't fight anyone. Just let it be and believe that your time is coming. Believe that what you are struggling right now, your time will be fulfilled. Yes, do not get stuck in the wrongs. Do not stuck in the setbacks. Do not be discouraged. Always believe. That it is a part of our destiny and we must go through it whether we like it or not. Don't resist anyone. Just let it be and practice more to be patient and to be humble. When you do that, you have 
the right to get through the wrongs to become who you were created to be. You are created to be an amazing and successful person. You have your successes in front of you and fighting anyone doesn't help it at all. So my point here, whatsoever other people did wrong to us, we must be mindful that that is a part of our destiny. And as God says, I am in control. Those wrongs are leading you to a right. So quit everything you don't like. Blow with it. You have to get through the wrongs to become who you were created to be. Simple as that. I am just only sharing with you what I read in Luke 22, 51. It enlightened my mind to be more patient, to be more humble, and live according to God's will. This is Shintel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. I love you all and bye-bye.